recording goes, we always work with Yannick Saint-Amand, who is our original guitar player. He was uh, probably one of the first to step out of the band, uh, started this family. Sooner or later, he started missing it like all of us, and now he's back into the fold as our full-time front of house engineer, always mixing us live, but also producing every one of our records. And Purgatory is no exception. And, and the beauty of working with Yannick is, you know, he played guitar in our band. He understands who we are, what we do, and what we're trying to achieve with every record. We always track to a click, and uh, we started out with the drums. There is not a lot of editing, to be honest. Revisiting our older records, I feel like some of them were just a little too tight, you know, a little too digital, a little too precise. And, and now when we are in the studio, we're not as concerned with being like as tight as a robot. We're more looking for that proper vibe, energy, and we, we record longer takes. And it's, it's not as polished, but I feel like it sort of like widens the sound and it makes it just a lot realer, you know? And um, uh, that's something that we started doing with Beast, and that's something that uh, we kept on going with Purgatory. Uh, but yeah, it's just standard tracking. We start with drums, uh, then we recorded all the strings, so guitars and bass at uh, Eric's home studio. So we did that at home. It was a nice laid back environment. I was actually on tour with my other band uh, during the whole uh, uh, musical recording. So unfortunately, I wasn't part of that process. But uh, I got back from tour, my vocals were all nice and warmed up, I was feeling pretty confident, stepped into the studio and boom, smashed it out. All the vocals, I produced them myself, uh, uh, all the music was produced by Eric, myself and Yannick, so once again, very close to home, uh, nobody just pulling the strings and telling us what to play, how to play it and, and all that, so it, it, it is a, a very personal effort. And uh, as far as like recording the vocals, we hit up our friend uh, Antoine Lucier, who uh, plays guitar and eye on dissonance. Uh, you know, uh, that band and us, we go way back. We've toured a lot with them as well. Uh, two of those dudes were my roommates, uh, you know, some of my best friends ever. And, and working with Tony, you know, he's also collaborated with my other band. He knows how I work, he understands the workflow. Uh, he understands my anxiety in the studio and he's very patient with me, which I'm very thankful for. And also he's our drummer's cousin. So they, they started, you know, they started playing, you know, metal covers back in the day together. They learned music together. So it, it is a very personal effort. We, uh, we, we, we choose the people with whom we collaborate. Uh, um, we're very picky, so to speak. And, uh, but ultimately I feel like the record benefited from that. Uh, as far as like the mixing goes, we hit up Chris Donaldson from Cryptopsy. Uh, he and I have known each other uh, since our teenage years. Obviously, you know, we've toured with Cryptopsy a lot. Uh, he's toured with us a lot, so he understands the band, he understands our vision. And, and, and once again, uh, I feel like uh, that was um, quite beneficial uh, for the overall sound of the record. Oh, yo! Oh, yo! 